Good afternoon everybody, this is Cycle Camp and uh, I'm back again with my French model 1892 pistol. Uh, in the previous uh, video we took the gun apart, cleaned it out and uh, looked like it was in pretty good shape. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it out to the range. Uh, before we go out there I just wanted everybody to get a, a closer look at it. So this is basically what the pistol looks like. It's a very interesting uh, weapon, quite quite advanced for its time. Uh, uh, really deep uh, piece of gear. Uh, again, loading gate back. Shove out to the side to uh, to load it. Not a big deal. Uh, this particular pistol uses an eight millimeter uh, Lebel projectile. Here is an example of the projectile. It looks very similar, to be honest with you. It looks very similar to a uh, 30 carbine, a shortened version of the 30 carbine. Um, uh, fairly straight walled, uh, just a mild, mild taper. But what we're going to do is uh, take this puppy out to the range and we'll see if it actually fires. So I've never actually fired the thing and I'm very interested to see how it does. So let's head out to the range and see how it goes. Hi there, this is Cycle Camp out at the uh, Windsor Marksman Range in Windsor, Connecticut. We just got finished with a 25, uh, 22 bullseye match. And I thought I'd take a minute and shoot the uh, French pistol that I uh, was able to acquire and clean up a couple of months ago. So uh, for those of you that don't remember, this is the pistol. It's a wonderful little gun. It seemed to be in really good shape. It's right and tight. I, I can't find any cracks or uh, issues with it at all. So we're going to try it today and see how it shoots. So the first time, we are just going to uh, put one in it. And I think these, unfortunately, I think these go backwards. So uh, let me uh, half cock it here. That's not right. Let me try again. Okay. So let me throw one in it, and we'll see if, it, if we can get it to uh, load up. Okay, so... We'll close the loading gate. All right, so I'm going to take one. Uh, I'm going to take one just, you know, not with my face right in back of it, just to see what it does. So hold on a second. Oh, okay. So that seemed to work. So what we'll do now is, uh, if I can remember how to do this. There we go. So we'll put a couple in it, and I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take five at a target, and uh, or six at a target, and we shall see what uh, what we get. Okay. And then I'll show you later on. I'll show you what the target looks like. Okay. So let's let's take a few and see what happens. Okay, so that's all six, and we will uh, eject those bad boys out of there, and uh, I'll go down and get the target, and uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're walking out to the target to see how we did. Now, keep in mind, this is a really old gun. We took six shots, and here, here are our six shots. So we have one, X, two, three, four, five, six. You notice uh, three of them, these three key hold, so the bullet is not stabilized. But uh, I'm really quite impressed with that, just offhand and no, uh, not using a rest or anything, so very nice. Hi there, we're back from the range, and I just wanted to point something out that was pointed out to me after I made the video earlier. Uh, we, had the, we had this target, and the target had three holes in it. 
that I believe were keyholes, but it turns out they are not keyholing. It's not evidence of keyholing. It was just humid at the range, and the uh, the marks on the paper are actually, if you look at the burn marks, the burn marks are perfectly circular once you bring the torn parts back in from underneath. So uh, it really looks like we did not have a problem with uh, keyholing in the gun, which is great, which means it's stabilizing the bullets properly. And we actually, they actually had a pretty nice target. I mean, uh, out of the six shots I shot, uh, offhand, uh, with no, uh, no rest or anything, at 25 yards, uh, we got an X, we got two nines, uh, seven and, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, seven and two sixes, which I thought was great considering I didn't even know where to hold uh, for this gun. So for a gun that's as old as it is, over 100 years old, uh, I was really pleased at how well this little guy shot. So thanks again for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Don't forget, gunchannels.com if you're looking for like-minded people. Uh, the Daily Show every night at 7 o'clock. Uh, it's also on YouTube as well. You can you can find the Daily Gun Show at uh, at uh, YouTube as well. And please come and join us. You'll find a lot of people that are interested in firearms and firearms technology, and it's a great place to link up with kindred spirits. Again, thanks very much for watching this video, and have a great evening.